Hey everyone, welcome to my kitchen. It's a mess right now. I wanted to show you some of the top cleaning hacks I use to clean my kitchen simply and safely. As men and women, we spend a lot of time in the kitchen, especially cleaning it. So let's get to work. So first up, we have our dishwashing liquid. We have a new kind, which is lime, which smells so good. It smells like key lime pie. Just makes it so much better to do your dishes. And so you wanna stay away from those chemicals and there are your toxins in your dishwashing liquid. So of course, free of all of that in our dishwashing liquid, it is plant-based. So when you're washing your dishes, you're preparing surfaces, None of those chemicals and toxins are getting on your food. You're feeding it to your family. We don't want that in our dishwashing liquid. And we have our brand new kitchen scrub brush right here. Love, love this kitchen scrub brush. Doesn't get all disgusting and nasty like those other ones at the grocery store that you're constantly throwing away and buying new ones, right? Also, the top of the head of it is replaceable, but absolutely love this push button right here to release the soap. And of course, it has that silver in it so it can self-purify, so it does not get all gross. Perfect cloth for dishes is our dishcloth. It's the one cloth that does not have our back lock in it is because it doesn't need it. It has these holes right here. So all of the nasty food particles, bacteria, everything does not stay in the cloth. It washes right out, which is so, so convenient. And so a cleaning hack that I do with the dishcloths, you're going to get two big ones, cut them in half. All right. They don't fray or anything and last forever. So say you have two years worth of dishcloths right there. So this is the one I use for my dishes. You ball it up, you put some soap on it, wash your dishes. And then I have another one where I put a big hole in it. And this is my one where I clean um, the soles of shoes, uh, cupboards, floors, you know, stuck on messes. So I'm not intertwining the two. Some people do, but that's just what I do here with the dishcloths. Um, dishcloths are always really, really great for um, anything like cleaning up eggs, flour, protein powder, um, anything kid related. I think my one has slime on it right there. <laughs> anything like that clay, the dishcloth is so, so good for. All right, then we have Ultrazyme and Rinse Aid Plus, some of the two best consumables Norwex makes. We use them daily, they are so effective. The best solution I've ever used in our automatic dishwasher. And you don't need the chemicals and the toxins and that is because of those amazing enzymes that are just as effective. And of course, safe for you and your family. You're not putting all that on your dishes. Plant-based, septic safe. You can even do our auto ship program so you don't have to worry about going to the store and running out of any of that. And also a great hack for our Ultrazyme is this is not an Oryx thing, it's a consultant thing, is that you can take a scoop of the Ultrazyme, put it into your drain to unclog a drain. They say Drano and all of those um, over time can corrode your drain pipes. So switch to Ultrazyme instead, let it sit for about 30, 30 to 60 minutes. Also consultant tip, don't use a full scoop. Try using less is more. Our consumables are all very concentrated, so saving money right there. All right, sponges. So here is the Enviro sponge. It is the Norwex microfiber. It's an abrasive side for you know sticky messes and then a smoother side to whisk it away. Comes in a two pack, machine washable. Absolutely love the Enviro sponge. And then we have our spirionettes and we have cleaning paste. Absolutely love the cleaning paste, extra elbow grease. For surfaces that need a little more extra scrub, I can do an oven door in two minutes. Just whisk that away. No one's coughing or sneezing from all those it's chemicals. Baked on, so it will come hard. So that's the way it's supposed to come. And then it gets all soapy. It lasts forever. Make sure you test first on a surface area with our cleaning paste. It does have that marble flower, so you wanna watch that. But absolutely amazing, amazing cleaner. All right, then we have our Spiri sponge, which is one of our favorite sponges in our home as well. It's more of our disposable sponges, if you wanna say it that way, but it still lasts about six months to a year, comes in a two pack. So with the Spiri sponge, it's something that you need a little more extra scrub to, but you don't want to damage anything. So it's really great for um, glass shower doors, glass top stove tops, any of those that you just need a little extra scrubbing uh, power to it. Works beautifully with our cleaning paste or just use it on your own to wash dishes. It's great on cast iron. So some hacks there. All right, next we have our cutting boards. Absolute magic in your kitchen if you're using those 
nasty plastic cutting boards. It's time for them to go. Let's renew your kitchen. So our cutting boards are made from rice husk. So you're not worried about any of that plastic going into your food. They also have a silicone ring on the bottom. So they're not scooting along the cupboard. They're great for sandwiches as well. And this ring they have along them. So there's not juices going everywhere from watermelons. You can hang them absolute must in the kitchen. All right, now we move on to counter claws. So counter claws are about the same size as a select a size paper towel. And you think about how much you spend in paper towels and they say the average American household spends about $600 in household cleaners and paper towels. So let's save some money, use our counter claws. They are the all magical cloths. They remove 99.9% .9 of bacteria from a surface. They clean themselves with that silver in them. You can hang them right over your little house here to dry them and use them over and over. And um, I say about four or five days, it's time for a good wash and uh, keep going with that. You can even use them as napkins and even my kids' lunch boxes, I put them in so they can have those napkins during lunch. So, so many uses. I have a box up in my bathroom as well, because why not, right? You need your claws in the bathroom just as much. So love, love our Norwex counter cloth. All right, so an absolute must for the kitchen is our kitchen towels and kitchen cloths. This is our new diamond pattern here. So absolutely love this color scheme. Perfect for every season, but there are a ton of different colors out there. Here is my kitchen cloth I've been using all day. So this is the mushroom, which I really like the mushroom. And just to show you the size comparison here with a counter cloth and then a kitchen cloth there, you can see that size difference there. They all do the same. Uh, they clean awesome, remove 99.9% .9 of bacteria. They self purify, just lots of different shapes, sizes, and colors to confuse you. <laughs> but that is why we are here, right? Keep it simple, pick your favorite um, in the kitchen. I mostly use I mix it up, but I use counter cloths and kitchen cloths a lot in my kitchen. And here is the ribbed channel pattern as well. So the kitchen towel, if you know, if you have a stinky kitchen towel, you know this would be really great for you. Also, the Norris microfiber absorbs seven times its weight in water. So that means you don't have to go through three different kitchen towels when you're drying dishes or pots and pans after the holidays and all that. So really, really great to have in the kitchen along with the kitchen cloths, which I'm sure most of you know how well it picks up uh, dirt and crumbs and stickiness and everything around your kitchen, your bathroom, um, wiping down appliances, it can be used for all of that. So an absolute must have in the kitchen. All right, so here we go. All purpose cream cleaner and utility brush. This is a great pair. So the all purpose cream cleaner, I know this is kind of new for most of you. So. This is actually a more gentle formula than the cleaning paste. So if you're looking for something a little more gentle and it actually comes out as a paste. <laughs> so this is great to put on your utility brush, just like toothpaste. Do not use this as a toothbrush. It would be very too abrasive, right? So this utility brush, absolutely amazing. I feel like most of my customers have one. It is great for scrubbing. Of course, you have that back lock in there so this brush doesn't get all gross and then this silicone tip for the gunk around your sink or your bath bathtubs, um, sinks, all of that is absolutely amazing. I would get one in your kitchen. I would get one for your bathrooms. Absolutely great is this utility brush and this pair together. And also make sure to check out the kitchen cleanup bundle. It's a great way to detox your kitchen with a great price as well. All right, then we have a Biozyme, which is one of my absolute favorite favorite cleaners. So what you do is you dilute it in a forever spray bottle, put one part Biozyme, the rest water. It's one of the best cleaners you can have around the home. It foams. It's actually made for dishes and all the baked on uh, gunk on them, but I use it all over the house. It's powerful. It's enzyme based, very powerful enzymes. So watch, don't let it sit for too long, but this is one of my favorite, favorite cleaners. So have you seen this hack with the porcelain sink organizer? So take the bar, put it on the other side underneath, and then you have a little drip holder tray for let's say a cloth or your kitchen scrub brush. You put your you know foaming hand soap back on there and everything back on. And just like that, it's the perfect holder for your sink. 
Produce wash is an absolute must for your little veggie fruit items such as strawberries and blueberries and all those that you can't clean with a veggie scrub. Cloth. You can either spray right on the produce and wait 30 seconds and rinse or if you really want to see the gunk, you can spray into a bowl with water and then add the produce and just let it kind of sit there for about 30 seconds until you rinse it. You want to get the pesticides, the wax, everything off your produce. And this is the best way to do it. We have our veggie scrub mitt, which is really great for apples, potatoes. It can peel carrots. Again, super, super durable. And it has this abrasive side to get all those pesticides and waxes off your all your produce. Bottle brush. So this was our brush before the kitchen scrub brush came out. Still works so, so well. I actually use it for uh, travel. I travel a lot and it's so quick and convenient to throw into my things um, for dishwashing. And so if anyone has the blue toilet bowl, <laughs> I know you're like, what does toilets have to do with kitchen? Uh, toilet bowl cleaner. It is the same idea. It's these thermoplastic rubber bristles right here. So it does not harbor any bacteria and it's still durable and flexible and works really, really well. Get down into those bottles, those water bottles, those baby bottles. This is a great addition to the kitchen. Then we have our Norwax dish mat, which is so great for putting your dishes on to dry them before you put them away. Make sure you use it mesh side up. Don't do it the other way so the water can run through. And for the minimalists here, you can fold it up and store it under your sink. All right, everyone, thanks for hanging out. We hope you learned some things. Just want you to be able to clean safely and effectively in your kitchen while saving money. We don't want any harmful chemicals or toxins in your home with your family. Stay away from these wipes. They are not needed. Keep them away from your kitchen, your children, your high chairs, and all of that. You don't need them. All right, thanks all, and have a great day. All right, next up, we have our Ultrazyme and Rinse Aid Plus. Is it Rinse Aid Plus? It is Rinse Aid Plus. Automatic dishwasher. What was I gonna say? Then we have our kitchen bleh right here. No, I don't like that live by this brush in our kitchen. It has this awesome, awesome dishwashing liquid, which is, no, no, no. The other uh, chemical, baby. Okay. Ultrazyme and put it for drains, but Take your forever spray bottle, do one part heavy duty, duty. <laughs> I should make a blooper reel.